voice like yours, it's a gift from God. The world is going to hear that voice. Now, John Lloyd, you won a Tony Award for originating this role on Broadway in 2006. How has your understanding of Frankie Valli changed since then? Well, in 2006, I was, you know, do the math, I was much younger. And the older part of Frankie Valli, the later career part of Frankie Valli, I had to act that. You know, the wisdom or the, the sort of the, the um, that with success comes pain kind of thing I had to, had to act. The now, having just done the movie, I'm, I'm older, I, I'm a little wiser as a human being, and I can access those themes more from personal experience than to have to pretend them. Now, Vincent, you were the only member of the band, the core four, that wasn't in the stage show. Was this a daunting thing for you? It was, at times, uh, very daunting, um, especially given the time frame. I was, uh, you know, scratching my head wondering how I would uh, uh, not only you know, respect the craft, but get to a place in the work where I could fit in. Um, and uh, luckily I had just a great team and support uh, that brought it together. And Jersey Boys, because it's such a franchise, they have a real established group. Uh, you know, Sergio Trillo, Danny Austin, Chris Messina working with me on the choreography, Katie Agresta on the voice, and Robbie Mangano helping me with guitar. So it was basically this finishing team to then delicately put me in with the group and, uh, you know, and work it out to, you know, a few days before shooting. But it was a really, you know, wonderful experience, actually, overall. Like a man, like a man. Could you talk about working with Clint Eastwood? It's just so great to be on set with him. He's like a friend and a mentor, um, but also has that steely authority. You know, you've got this dirty, hairy, and, and uh, man without a name persona. You kind of don't want to dare displease him. Mm. And so you bring your best game right away. <laughs> it's sur Every day was surreal. I yeah. mean, he's such a collaborative, fun guy. He's not what I expected. I don't even know what I expected him to be like, but it yeah. was it was it was still not it. You know, he just is like this guy that just wants to make. He loves making movies and he loves actors. So first and foremost, he wanted to capture great performances. For me, the best thing he ever did was give me the confidence that what I was already doing, why I got the job, was good enough, and to continue doing that, that I didn't have to now create something new on screen. Oftentimes, when Broadway musicals are turned into films, they're cast with big-name Hollywood stars. What does it mean to you that both of you have come from the stage show and are now in the film? Well, right. it's incredible, I, in the sense that I think we've both invested a lot of our time and, and love and pride in this show for so many years that it just feels like coming full circle for me. I mean, I've, had a, uh, I've been working on this show since 2008 in, in several different companies and met so many wonderful people, and to extend the Jersey Boys family to include Clint and the Warner Brothers people is really surreal. It's yeah, really incredible. And you, you know, it's one of those things where classically so many uh, roles when they're transferred from theater to film are not given to the the original people who who created it um, and the fact that Clint not only he, he pulled people from all different I mean we were on tour you know it's one thing to say that they wanted to use the guys from the original production but we were like the last people he really went around and just wanted to find the best actors for the job who who had done it who were doing it now no matter where they came from, um, and he was smart to use people that knew these roles through and through, and, and that's, uh, that's why the film works. <laughs>